The explosion in the sugar silo at the candy making company was so loud, workers at Brown's Transmission nearby thought at first something might have smacked into their building. In the back going over what parts we needed and you could just feel the whole entire building rattle and shake. We all just kind of froze. They thawed quickly, scurrying out the back and the front to see if anything had hit the outside walls. That's when they saw a plume of smoke and smelled the odor of burnt sugar. The company's CEO wasted no time evacuating employees. So we're trying to understand what exactly happened. Uh, but the good news is everybody's accounted for, everybody's safe. There's a built-in safeguard in silos like these. There are relief points on top of the containers designed to release the pressure buildup into the atmosphere instead of blowing everything to smithereens. At any one time, there are 60 to 70 workers making candy here at Perfetti Van Mella. Lollipops, Mentos mints, the primary products made here locally are Airheads and Airheads Extremes. Fire investigators from nearby Point Pleasant heard the airburst, spent the afternoon hours with their primary product, trying to find out what caused it. There was a fire, just the product itself that was inside, inside the silo itself was burning. Um, it was more of a flash fire that went out relatively quickly. The company has worked over the years to reduce the inherent problem of static electricity as product is offloaded. Not necessarily the spark today, but it's a possibility. It's the third such explosion in a dozen years. Somebody's eventually going to get hurt, because I don't guess anybody's ever been hurt, but somebody's eventually going to get hurt. And Fire Chief Giardano says that he'll continue to work with company engineers here as he has today over the next few days to try to pinpoint the failure and put in place any additional procedures if need be. Live in Erlanger, John London, WWT News 5.